Use the handrails and steps when entering the cab. The design is such that you should always use this safe three-point access. Use the storage compartment behind the seat for your personal belongings, such as hard hat and safety clothing. Adjust the seat so that you feel comfortable when holding the joysticks and reaching for the pedals. A number of different seat adjustments are available and all of them are described in the operator manual. It is important to make the necessary operator weight adjustments using the mechanical lever until you see the green field display in the glass indicator. As an option, the seat is equipped with air suspension. Simply press the air suspension switch until you see the red field and then release it until it is green. Adjust the console height so that your arms rest on the armrests when holding the joystick. Always use the safety belt. For the best operator comfort, keep the front window closed, especially in dusty conditions. Sometimes, however, you may need to communicate or require extremely good visibility. In such cases, fold up the upper front window into the cab ceiling. Make sure that it is locked in its upper position. When digging extremely deeply, it could be useful to lift out the lower front screen. The screen can then be placed in the door bracket. Check all mirrors and make the necessary adjustments if they are wrongly positioned. The engine oil level can be checked on the display and should be done before starting the engine. The level can of course be checked in the traditional way with the dipstick. The automatic climate control can be adjusted manually, but why not use the automatic function as in a car? Fourteen air outlets can be directionally adjusted 360 degrees, allowing you to find just the right airstream to suit your purposes. Located behind the cab is the cab air filter. This filter needs to be cleaned regularly and more often in dusty conditions. Use the two rocker pedals in the middle for travelling forward or reversing. Press with your toes for forward motion and with your heel for reverse. If you feel more comfortable using your hands, then use the travel levers. With the left hand joystick, you operate the dipper arm and the slew circuit. When the joystick is moved forwards, the dipper arm moves forwards. And when moved backwards, the dipper arm does the same. Moving the joystick to the left, the excavator will slew to the left. And when moved in the opposite direction, the excavator slews to the right. The right-hand joystick operates the boom and bucket. By moving the joystick forwards, the boom lowers. And to lift the boom, the joystick is moved backwards. The bucket is filled by moving the joystick to the left and emptied by moving the joystick to the right. The joysticks have four switches. The two upper ones are for optional hydraulics. The lower left switch on the left hand joystick is the horn. The lower left switch on the right hand joystick is the power boost. Press this switch when you need greater digging force. This will give you increased pressure for a period of 9 seconds. 
it is recommended that you refer to the operator manual concerning all the switches on the joysticks. There are too many variations to be covered in this video film, but if you should encounter any problems, check with your dealer.